Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video where today we have the Clarion Call event going on, which is an event that's going to have you attacking barbarians for points, of course, for rewards. So we have a little bit of a rally going on right now. The trick is right here that you want to keep your commanders out there attacking for as long as possible without having to go back home. This is going to save on action points and further progress you through this event. I'm going to get these barbs taken down first. Now, it's worth noting, and I'm going to get into this in a moment, but the higher level barbarians you attack, the more points you're going to end up getting. So me attacking these low level 15s right now is not going to net me the, the most amount of points that I could be getting. But after we take these down, because they're really not difficult, I'm going to hop on after those level 19s right up above. And I could continuously spawn them if I want. But to get the barbarians that are going to be the higher level close to me, I kind of have to go after them. So these are rewards that we're going to get up to the 4,000 chests, which is nice. Eight Dazzling Starlight Sculptures. But notice right here in the event rules, this is how you score. If you're going to be going after, for example, my level 19 barbarians I'm attacking right now, I'm going to be getting 60 points for that. For each of the commanders that are going after it for a total of 120 points. If I go after level 20s, they're 70. Level 21s, they're 80. Now, I can't get much higher than that because my commanders aren't strong enough. Well, and also, it's not even available yet on the map. So I'm going to probably be hanging out around the 13 to 20 range. That's really where the majority of these barbs are going to be that I'm attacking. Boudicca's okay and Lohar's okay as well. Remember, you want to try and get that splash damage as well. If we can get Ethelflaed, who's behind Boudicca, to use her super and to aggro the level 12s next to the level 18s, we can get two attacks for the price of one. It's just a good deal. You want to grab those good deals inside of the game. So right now, the level 18s are engaged in battle. Now, the 12s, I don't know. They're, they're going in the wrong direction. And Boudicca turned the wrong way. She's going to miss with the fan attack. Look at that. Feels bad, man. Actually, Sun Tzu, Sun, there's the fan attack from Ethelflaed. Sun Tzu has the same, but it's not as wide. The level 18s will go down fairly easy, though. And again, we're just progressing these points. As a free-to-play player inside of Rise of Kingdoms, you need to take advantage of every single event that's going on inside of the game. Not only to just get yourself those chests, but also to try and place high so you can get even more rewards. Now, about there, we got them taken down. This is going to be super easy, taking down the level 12s. But we're going to just go because they're close. We could spend all day going after barbarians that are far away to get level 20 after level 20 after level 20. And that's what a lot of people are going to end up doing, to be honest with you. But for me, I guess you can call me a little bit lazy. I'm going to kind of keep everything nice and close because we got this bunch of barbarians right here together. It's hard for me to just run past them, ignore them when they're basically free points. At the end of the day, we have a bunch of action point recoveries if we would need to use them. So I'm not so worried about it. We rarely ever use action point recoveries. I'm looking at a bunch of barbarians we have over here as well. We're going to get these level 17s and look, 17s, 18s, 19s, and 20s. All high level barbarians, all going to offer me good points. Let's pop up that screen again to see what kind of points we're going to be getting for each of these barbarians. Some really solid stuff. So we got, I believe, the level 17s right now. We may, be, oh, right out of range again. We missed the 20s. Wow, we're getting really unlucky with that, with those supers, those ultimates, those abilities. Oh, are we going to get it right there with Sun Tzu? No, the 20s are like a tile or two out of range, which means we're not going to be able to take them down. Oh, come on, step on back. Timing is just off, and they are still a little bit out of range right there. We are going to be able to go to the 20s, but take a look at my commanders. They're down to the yellow, and although we do have Lohar who gains some health back, the Boudicca Ethelflaed combination does not. They don't gain any health back. They are still like lower level barbarian attackers. We have to still continuously keep grinding them up. So this level 20 right here very well might take us out of commission and have to go back home, which would really stink because we have a lot of these barbarians right around us that would be really nice to attack. It's possible that I should have just skipped the level 20. Although offering the most points of all these in the bunch, I should have probably just skipped them, moved along, so that I didn't die. I really don't want Boudicca to go down, but she is looking pretty weak right now. Lohar is okay. He'll probably be able to get through it. The last thing you want are for your commanders to go down 
and to waste the action points and not get any of the reward at all. Budoka is going to hightail herself back to my city. Lohar is going to have to finish this battle off himself. But you know I'm going to come back and I'm going to attack these barbarians again. Come on, Budoka. All right. Rip. Budoka's down right there. Lohar is going to be able to finish off this level 20, which is going to be nice. It's going to offer a lot of points, which is great. Let's actually take a look right now where we're at. Already grabbed the 500. Super nice, super easy. And you can see right now, for uh, individual points, I'm at level 560 in the entire kingdom. These are literally the first barbarians I've attacked since this event went live. And our alliance rank is number five, which that's what we want to go up. Here they come. Actually... Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go for the 18s. They're right here. We're going to take on the 18s first. We basically got our, our action points returned. And then we're going to use them again to attack this one. And then we'll just go on up to those level 20s. As long as they don't take too much of a beating. I really don't want to take too much of a beating. Specifically with the Boudicca. She does not have that healing effect after she goes down. That's something that we have to build her up to a little bit. Lohar, though, does have that skill set. So it's going to allow him, after he takes a good beating, to get healed back up, and then he can get back into the battle. And if you're attacking a Barbarian that is just not too strong and doesn't beat you up too much, you can really stay out for a long time, claim a lot of rewards, and not have to go back and forth over and over again from the Barbarians to your home base or to your city. So now they took them down, not so bad. We do have Boudicca a little bit in the red. We're gonna try again for another set of level 20s, which I believe right now are the highest level inside of the kingdom. I haven't seen anything any higher as of yet, but I would love nothing more than to take out the 20s, then the 19s, then the 11s, and then I'll probably have to go back to my home base. And that's okay. But you know, guys, every day you do get that free 500 action points. Never a bad idea to use those. They're 100% free, and that means you should be using them to go do actions inside of the game. When the game gives you free things as a free-to-play player, you need to take them and take all advantage of them as much as you can so that you can get more stuff. It's really what it's all about. Now, it looks like the Barbarians are attacking my Lohar, although Boudicca does seem to be taking a little bit of a, a little bit of heat. I'm watching, I'm watching her yellow line go down, wishing it wasn't going down, but it is. Let me know down in the comment section below if you participate in the Clarion Call or if you're here because you just didn't know what it was. You had no idea what this was all about. So now you're here learning about it. Pretty simple stuff. Keep your Barbarians out for as long as you possibly can. Attack the highest level Barbarians that you can while maintaining your troops out on the battlefield and not having to return home every time. And work as an alliance. Try and get as many alliance points as you can to get those rewards. Now, I'm going to go after the 11s really quickly because that's going to help me even more to heal up Lohar. It's going to be super fast. He may not even get any uh, any extra help out of that. Then we're going to go after the level 19s. And I think then we're probably going to have to go back to our city, get more action points. Actually, action points looking pretty good, but probably heal up. Let's see. Lohar sitting there right now. His heal up. He got himself an extra 983 health. That's healing up his troops. And that's what allows you to stay out for long periods of time when you build out commanders for healing. Now we got the level 19s right here. Then I'm gonna go over to my tree, show you how I have Lohar built. So that if you wanna build in the same way or in similar fashion, you can get the same rewards, the same benefits. But right now, level 19s. go more barbarians taken down guys if you've never played rise of kingdoms my download link for blue stacks to play it on your pc is in the description of this video or you could always download it on mobile as well but go check out the game it's a lot of fun hey we'll play together see these guys downloaded the game we have echo fan one and echo fan and of course me clarion call oh we have more rewards to grab already a thousand in just in the time it took to make this video easy rewards to have Plus, you work together with your alliance, and you can get some serious rewards from attacking those barbarians. Hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Get yourself out there, smash some barbarians, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow with another video. Until then, be good.